Hey everyone, so I just wanted to briefly tell you about a newly discovered hyperparasite. So you know how when an animal dies and its body begins to rot and decay, it'll attract all manner of scavenging and detritus-eating creatures? Some of these creatures are bugs, and some of those bugs are flies. Flies like dead flesh, and they often use rotting corpse husks as nests in which to lay their eggs. When the eggs hatch, they eat the dead flesh, and so it works quite nicely for them. Fungal species are also attracted to the decaying body, where they break down the tissues through their saprophytic digestion. Some of these fungal species, like Entomopthora muscaea, will exploit this encounter with a fly to infect it, and spread its spores within the fly's body. The E. muscaea fungus seizes control of the fly's body, so as to position it properly and initiate its fungal reproductive cycle. The fly's body is then consumed for nutrients, much like how a plant consumes nutrients in its seed, or how maggots are birthed into a cradle of necrotic flesh, or I mean baby food. Now, there's a new study that's discovered a virus, which is able to infect the fungal cells of the Entomopthora muscaea, while well, that infects the insectoid cells of the Drosophila melanogaster fly, while well, that lays its eggs in and eats from the flesh of a rotting body. Isn't this just a fascinatingly twisted little ecological relationship? I mean, this is what nature's all about, baby. Oh yeah, did I mention that there was a new species of Ebola discovered in Western Africa? <laughs> you know, I mean, like, welcome to Earth. This is what it's like. Anyway, the authors of the study say in their abstract, quote, we also find the virus in RNA sequencing data from samples of two other species of dipterans, Musca domestica and Delia radicum, known to be infected with E. muscaea. These data establish that Entomopthora virus is widely and seemingly obligately associated with E. muscaea. As other members of the Iflaviridae cause behavioral changes in insects, we speculate on the possibility that Entomopthovirus plays a role in E. muscaea involved host manipulation. Unquote. So basically, these hyperparasitic viruses can exist anywhere that their fungal host exists, which is basically anywhere that their insectoid hosts exist, which is basically anywhere that they can find food, which is rotting biomatter, like a dead carcass. And there's certainly no shortage of that in the wilderness. Oh.